Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at another useful concept which would be which would define the properties of self-adjoint linear operators. So here we again use the partial ordering that we have discussed earlier, which we already call by posets, right? A set which is associated with this partial ordering that was known as posets. So now using this posets and the relation defined between two operators, suppose we have two operators t1 and t2, they are related to each other. Whenever we say the inner product of t1x uh, with x, that is less than equal to the inner product of t2x with x for all elements x which are members of the given Hilbert space, right? And what is this? Uh, partial ordering relation whenever it satisfies the three properties of reflexivity. This is this was the first property. Second is the uh, anti-symmetry, right? This was the second property. And the third property is that of transitivity. So if an operator or the relation of this kind is said to be a partial order, a partial ordering between two operators whenever it satisfies reflexivity, anti-symmetricity and transitivity. Now using these concepts, we are now defining another concept which is the monotone sequence. So if you remember, whenever you studied uh, about sequences in lower classes, you also studied this term monotone. Monotone means moving in just one direction. Mono means one. So here in case of operators and in fact uh, self-adjoint linear operators, how uh, we can define monotone sequence of these operators. Suppose now we have a sequence T1, T2 and so on of this kind. So if we say uh, a monotone sequence, uh, see, uh, we have constructed a sequence like this T1, T2, T3, T4 and so on, uh, in which all the elements are self-adjoint linear operators which are defined on the Hilbert space H. So this is a sequence. This sequence would be called either monotonically increasing whenever as the index increases 1, 2, 3 and 4, the operators also increases. So by increasing operators, what do we mean? We have a partial ordering of this kind, less than equal to. So T1 is less than equal to T2, T2 is less than equal to T3, T3 is less than equal to T4 and we keep on doing this up to infinite terms, as many ter terms which are present in this sequence. And when, when do we call this as monotonically decreasing sequence? Whenever we have a opposite partial ordering of this kind. So that means whenever this index increases, we have a decreasing relationship among the operators. So this is the definition for monotone sequence. It could either be monotonically increasing or it could e either be monotonically decreasing. Now, using this thing, we have a result for self-adjoint linear operators. So here we have a theorem. It tells us about the monotonically increasing sequence. So it tells us that if Tn is given to be a sequence of self-adjoint, the operators, they are self-adjoint, they are bounded, they are linear, and they are defined on a complex Hilbert space H, right? This is given to us such that uh, they all are related to each other in this way that T1 is less than equal to T2, it is related to T3 and so on. And we have K here, where what is this K? This K is again a bounded self-adjoint linear operator which is defined on the given Hilbert space. Now using this K and this relationship that is given to us, we suppose that any of the Tj's that commutes with K and with every Tm. So all these operators, they all commute with K. This is one thing and they also commute with each other. Then we say this given sequence Tn that is strongly convergent. Now, if you remember what is strongly operator convergent sequence, a sequence where uh, Tnx that would converge to Tx whenever n tends to infinity for every member x of the given Hilbert space. So this is important and this differentiates the strong convergence with that of weak convergence. And uh, in this case, the limit operator, whichever is the limit operator, which is suppose given to us as Tx, this limit operator is also linear, it is bounded, self-adjoint and moreover it satisfies the conditions that it is also related to K. So T is related to K here. And moreover, we have a similar theorem which holds for a monotonically decreasing sequence. 
so uh, these are some of the properties for monotonically increasing and decreasing sequence and in this video we have defined them in the next video we shall be looking at the proof of this theorem so i hope you understood the concepts well well that is it for this video thank you for watching